Hi, my name is Ajumi Mogladis and today happens to be my best wedding and I'm privileged to be a chief bridesmaid. We have been friends right from primary school to our secondary school days and she's an amazing soul, a loving person, a kind-hearted person, fun to be with. Uh, she's playful, she can joke, in fact, uh, sometimes you never understand that she can act like a guy. Sometimes she will just think, I want to burn and she will just be like that. But she's so loving, she can in fact adapt to any character and today she's going to be from Mrs. Inyekenimi to Mrs. Inyekenimi Dennis. My name is Mr. Agankoko Dennis. My name is Mrs. Inyekenimi Dennis Agankoko. Well, I met my lovely wife when I was close living to them. That was, uh, if I quite remember, 2011. I gained um, a job close to our place. That was our third job that I was doing. As the life goes on, I've traveled out for, I traveled out for looking for money. I left them and I traveled out for looking for money. Um, the process at the time, you know, human being, mind was, the mindset must be growing that at least you have to get a partner. What she said when I proposed to her that, is you that I want to marry this? She said, ah, seriously? Oh, I said, this person. She said, seriously? Just seriously, that word, I just pick it. I just keep pointing to myself that I said, this, this lady, this is my wife is ready to marry me. So she said, seriously? I said, yes. Ah, she don't say any word again. And uh, I begin to wash her from far when I was working at uh, Lagos. So we, we tried to chatting, commenting, chatting. I've seen a seriousness is more than me against it. A seriousness, we got this chat. But I wasn't really interested in the relationship back then. When he approached, I was like, he's not my speck of a man, stuff like that. But as time goes on, Everything came up, so that's how we were. See, some people say marriage is a very tough movement, and my marriage will not be a tough movement in my life. My marriage begins to go smoothly, sweetly, that will make things to be. Achieving anything that in our front, whether it's the back, or we will achieve all of them as good as we have taken that as good in our life, and good that will come into the family too. He's one of a kind. I've not seen a man like him. Is understanding, patience. Sometimes you feel he's upset, but really he's not. So all those virtues alone attracted me to it. The journey has been tough because to an extent it became a distant relationship. And in this present world, being a distant relationship has a lot of temptations. But by his grace, we were able to overcome to today. Darling. You can't communicate facially, face to face, there is no communication. It's only through shards, maybe if you are active online, that's when you can communicate. But there is no closeness. It takes determination, it takes patience, it takes understanding to maintain a distant relationship. Thank you. The <laughs> way I saw the ring, I was like, I do, I do, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> Life without him would have been meaningless because as a woman, you have desires, you have things to look out for for a man. And when you see those virtues in a man and challenges are trying to create a barrier or a distance between you and the person, you feel incomplete, you feel as if the world is coming to an end. So life without him would have been miserable. I was just want to say I'm so happy and excited to have him as my better half. I just want to say I love him so much. He's the first thing ever that's allowed him to me. I know um, it might sound funny because <laughs> due to distance, I wasn't able to express love to him. But just want to say my better half, I love you so much. Thank you for being part of me. 
I'm looking forward to a better life. I was going to say status keep changing, like the status of change from Miss to Mrs. So I'm expecting greater height, good health, and long lasting relationship without this food. But everything is by the grace of God. Left with me, I'd like to have three.